Hello, this is Hans van der Kwast, Senior Lecturer at IIT Delft Institute for Water Education. I'm going to show you how you can learn more about using QGIS for water modeling. So I want to start with showing you some open educational resources that are available on the internet. There's open courseware, there are free tutorials and there are different YouTube channels that you can use. And the best uh, starting point for that is uh, gisopencourseware.org uh, from IHG Delft. So when you use the link uh, opencourseware.org, it will bring you to the IHG Delft OpenCourseWare platform. Let's first have a look under video tutorials. Here I've compiled different YouTube playlists for different topics. So there's a playlist with GIS theory lectures which has the basic theory, but it also explains how to do stream and catchment delineation and to deal with different file formats, for example. There are also others that are important, uh, such as exercises for QGIS for hydrological applications and surveying uh, with QGIS input and merging. Now let's have a look under the schedule tab and there we can find the different topics and the study load of these different topics. So the QGIS exercises can be found under QGIS for hydrological applications. And there's a manual PDF, there's the exercise data and a link to a YouTube channel and a playlist. If you want to do uh, batch processing or automate procedures, it's also useful to learn scripting. Under the tab using GDAL for preprocessing, you can find a course that introduces you to uh, DOS and to GDAL. And there's even an exercise on batch conversion of uh, model data. With GDAL you can convert uh, between different projections and different uh, file formats. A very useful next step would be to learn Python. And under the Python 3 tutorial tab you find a basic Python course which costs you approximately one day. It's a Jupyter notebook, like an online course. And there's some other resources like learning uh, PyQGIS and uh, learning about libraries such as the PC raster library for map algebra and dynamic modeling and stochastic modeling and tutorials from Hatari Labs which are very useful to learn about uh, Python for groundwater modeling for example. There are also books available uh, for learning more about Python uh, at uh, Locate Press. I've also included here a playlist of different YouTube videos related to GDAL Python. Also very useful for hydrological modelers is to collect field data and it can be done using the input app that you can set up in QGIS and synchronize with the Mergin cloud. And uh, under this tab you can find a full tutorial and uh, different videos. Uh, I've also compiled a playlist which includes also videos from uh, Lutra Consulting. So here you can see how the tutorial looks like. It's about preparing the project and uh, synchronizing with Mergin and then capturing the data and editing forms using the input app on your smartphone or tablet. Besides the online materials, there's also a book QGIS for Hydrological Applications, Recipes for Catchment Hydrology and Water Management by Kurt Menke and myself. It's published at Locate Press. The book, also available as ebook, covers similar topics as the open courseware, but it has some added new features. It also has new exercises on uh, styling and map design. What's also important is that with purchasing the book, you support the attendance of my students to Phosphor-G and QGIS events. In that way, I want to contribute to the diversity of these events by introducing people from the global south to the open source communities. You're also welcome to join us at IHC Delft in the Netherlands, uh, where I also give face-to-face -face trainings, uh, short courses on uh, QGIS for hydrological applications, and of course with the official QGIS certification. So looking forward to meet you in the future.